In any marriage, you can have some squabbles and stuff. They said the vows, better, worse, richer, poor, sickness, health. <laughs> but the Beechams made one more promise. Long life and happiness. We're going to love happily ever after. Their anniversary was approaching when Robert Beecham started feeling sick. Shortness of breath, loss of appetite, smell and taste. I mean, totally gone. And then the cough. When that dry cough became severe congestion. And it was like I was drowning. Their son took him to the hospital. When I left home and I didn't tell my wife, I prayed and made peace with God and told him I was ready to come home. The Beechams know Dallas's Parkland Hospital better than they'd like. At age 65, Robert is a two-time stroke survivor. But this was different. When they took me to that third floor and I'm The third floor houses Parkland's main COVID care unit. You hear the sounds of grown people, I mean, <laughs> moaning. And, and coughing, it's, it's just devastating to hear all of that. With visitors banned, Robert so, fought alone. Uh, Janice did too. I was getting ready to have my first chemo treatment and I got a text message. Your husband has COVID and I felt so helpless. And I'm like, I gotta get to him. I need to be there because I need to, I need him to know that I'm there. And then I started thinking, what if I have it too? Janice's cancer made Robert determined to get well and get out. As he slowly improved, one particular Parkland doctor took a particular interest in getting him home. He said, uh, Mr. Beecham, if you were home, uh, what would that look like? But the cancer complicated things. I say I would fire up my grill and make us a couple of steaks with baked potato. I was just laying it out. He said, uh, How's your floor plan of your house? The doctor drew up a plan to keep the couple apart. And he said, I want you to be honest with me to tell me if you would be able to do that or not. The Beechams spent their 46th anniversary in quarantine. We've been married 46 years. Together. And 46 years, two months and 15 <laughs> days. Janice found out she had COVID right before her husband came home from the hospital. Somehow, her symptoms remained relatively mild. I didn't care about being sick at that time. I was too concerned about him. They believe being home together helped them heal. I never had a chance to shake his hand. And they heap praise on that one doctor. This is going to sound kind of political because I intended to. <laughs> That's how you make America great. I've never seen him without the shield, the plastic shield. I've never, I've never seen his face. And here's the face. He's helped me more than I think I've helped him. Dr. Syatak Nayak worked hard to get Robert home because it was his first COVID patient to go home. When Robert left Parkland, he left with his doctor's personal cell phone number. You know, he, he called me on his, on his wedding anniversary. Uh, my wife was in the car and he was, you know, just you know, expressing his gratitude and, and his heartfelt appreciation for all the work we've done. And, you know, it, it brought tears to our eyes. And, and um, you know, this is why we do what we do. Um, you know, we bring families back together. They still talk in text and Nayak pictures this face. I'm still able to get out here and do what I do best. When his other patients don't make it home. I would tell him every night when we talk, come back home to me. That solemn vow of long life and happiness. He came home. It hasn't been broken yet. In DeSoto, I'm Teresa Woodard.